Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. It is Saturday morning and it's kind of sprinkling and it's it's real overcast so the sun is like killing my eyes so forgive me while I squint. So you're asking yourself Jason what are you outside for? Why are you out on Saturday morning? You look tired. Yeah I like to sleep late on Saturday morning and uh, it's 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 not late. Actually it's probably late for you guys. I don't know it's like 10 something. But um, today we have the uh, Texas Cichlid Association swap meet. At, and uh, the cool part about it is it's in the parking lot of the uh, Texas Aquatics, the fish store that I go there all the time and get most of my fish from. So today we are going to travel over there. It's in the Hearst Euless Bedford area. And uh, we'll go uh, check that out and see what they have. Um, this is the first time I've ever been to it, so I don't know really what to expect. Um, I've heard there's a lot of fish there because of the fact that when you go to this you don't have to pay the association any type of fee whereas at the fish auction that we had two weeks ago you have to give 25% of what you make back to the association so some people will hold some of their better fish back for the swap meet and plus there'll be a lot supposedly supposed to be a lot of uh, tanks and equipment and other stuff basically just like a big garage sale for for uh, Aquarius who are trying to get rid of things all right so Let's go ahead and get everything loaded up. Um, I'm not going to be selling anything this time. I will only be trying to purchase. When we get there, I'll do a lot of filming so you guys can see exactly what they've got there and what stuff's selling for. I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so we are back from the uh, swap meet. Uh, didn't end up being exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, it was raining, so that might be a reason there weren't that many people there. I think there's only five or six people there that were total that were selling um, anything. So um, let me cut and so you guys can see a uh, so short video of what was going on there. Alright, so as you guys can see from the video, there were a couple of people that were just selling random uh, aquarium stuff and then there was only about four people that were actually selling fish and most of them didn't even have that many bags of fish at all. Uh, the one guy who did have quite a few bags of fish was actually the same guy that I bought the majority of my fish from from the auction. And so I bought quite a bit from him again. Um, it's funny because what I was buying from him I was probably paying more at the auction than what he actually sells them for. So um, let's go ahead and let's look over here in the tank. I've got them a temp acclimating right now. I'm gonna move them into uh, multiple tanks to get them quarantined. 
So let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay. First of all, we've got some, we got three uh, uh, calico bristle nose. As you can see, these guys are pretty small, only a few months old. Uh, but I got these for $12, four bucks a piece. That's, uh, that's just a fantastic price. You can't get them with that and pay shipping on Aquabid. Okay, the next one, I got three uh, super red calicos. These were $15, so about five bucks a piece. Another great price. Again, these guys are about the, as young as the other ones are. All right, so and I also bought some albino pear, I mean, I bought some uh, uh, bristle no pears. I don't know if they're actually breeding pears, but they're male and female, so that probably shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this was an albino pear, uh, $25 for the pear. That's a great price, because these guys are probably about a year or so old, would be my guess. So 25 bucks for those. Uh, next one. These are uh, another adult pair. These guys seem a little bit older. These, this is a calico pair. See if we can get some decent shots of them here. This this male has quite a few bristles already on him, so he's he's fairly older. Th this was thirty dollars for this pair. These guys will probably be breeding any time. Okay, and then last but not least, these are uh, Cindonatus uh, petricola. I think this is actually known as like the cuckoo catfish. These are the same ones that I bought at the auction. Uh, I bought four of them and I think I paid almost $40 for them. This time buying them from them, they were only $25 a piece. I love these guys, so I decided to get some more. This is breaking my arm holding these like this, by the way. All right, let's put that back in there. Okay, so that is all the fish that I ended up getting. Um, but one of the things is, is the guy that I got these from, I talked to him for a while. He only lives about 30 minutes from here and he's got 50 something tanks set up. So he invited me out uh, to come see exactly what he's got going on and I asked him if I could come out there and film also and he said, yeah, he'd love to. So hopefully here in the next few weeks, I'll be able to make it out there and uh, film all what he's doing and uh, get a chance to try to learn uh, from some of the things that he's doing. All right, so um, thanks again, guys, for uh, stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys have these type of uh, swap meets in your area, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Tell me if, you, if yours are pretty big, pretty small, or this is probably about typical. So thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and God bless.